Hello YouTubers. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a boat trailer into a dual jet ski trailer. Pretty much this thing is my boat trailer, but it's in restoration work right now. I'll show you guys that later. It's hanging up behind the garage. And right now I'm dealing with some issues freeing up some rust problems. If you want, I'll show you what I'm dealing with. Okay, kind of dealing with some of the stuff where these risers right here and they're all rusting and they don't really want to work well so i'm going to show you guys how to remove rust and make something like brand new again all right here we have a bolt that i've been setting in muratic acid this is the magical stuff right here and please make sure you use gloves on your hand this stuff will really hurt you this is one of the bolts from the riser That's what you have. We'll let that sit there for a few. Got an old antique drill pit. I'm just gonna do, just to show you guys how quick this had to set for about a half an hour. And as you can see, it's like one I almost bought off the shelf. I mean, it screws freely all the way through. I haven't even put oil on it yet or nothing, but as you could look, I could wipe that off with a scouring pad. And this would actually clean that like new. I mean, you might wanna just add a little soap or something and then you could pretty much wipe it down but that's how you make stuff like brand new again and as you can see it works excellent on nuts bolts any type of rusty hardware this is already starting to turn and it wouldn't even move before I mean so that's great it's going to come loose this is another reason why you wear hand covering because you can see what it's doing to this rag I've used this thing for multiple use so make sure you use something you're not worried about this is a little dirty, but it still works. What that is, is it's all the rust and corrosion that's actually come off some stuff. So we're gonna drop this in there and just leave it for a few. And that was a lot of the rust and debris. As you can see, there is rust and stuff just from the top, which was this part that had sat and then the jar had sat in here and cleaned from there down. I mean, I'm not really worried about it. I done what I needed to. I'm getting ready to sand the whole trailer down. So this was just to show you guys an example of what muratic acid could do. Now, if it's something where you need to really get into tune, please wear protective covering for your skin, but you could use a brush and brush it on rusty areas and it will take the rust back down to clean metal and save you a lot of work as far as things like that but you cannot use this on every surface or around certain things so make sure you protect them areas well because that muratic acid will dissolve it and this should take about 15 minutes to bring this drill bit back so we'll show you guys 15 minutes what it looks like These things barely open. I'm like literally forcing both hands. Let's see what that does. Using this because I don't have a big enough wrench. Oh yeah, 
very easy. There we go. Like a new bolt. You guys have it. Like new hardware. If you're real fussy, you could actually take this off and leave it set in acid too. But I'm actually going to paint the whole entire trailer, so I'm not too worried about it. Alrighty, it's been 15 minutes. We're back. These old pliers. She could look. They're almost brand new. Oh. main thing is look like new again a little bit of oil and these guys actually come right back to life so don't get rid of your old rusty tools and give up on them just because a little rust now they function proper a little bit of oiling and they're back to good I'm gonna reach down in here with these guys grab this bolt I mean drill. <laughs> this is an antique drill bit and I love this thing. It's my favorite. I'm not really worried about that little piece there, but as you can see, just brought this guy. There's a little flake of paint, something in the cup. Probably something that flew in the muriatic acid cup there, but as you can see, it's almost brand new again. This is an old drill bit of mine. To me, it's kind of antique. They don't really use these anymore. It's a precision drill. This is how you clean them threads out. Ready for oiling. <laughs> 